My name is Shavicia Leslie. I'm on Batwoman. I play Ryan Wilder, AKA Batwoman. <laughs> Originally with Kate Kane, she was a part of the elite of the city, and Ryan is the complete opposite. The character description is a drug runner, but more than anything, it's a person that was always overlooked by Gotham City Police, by the people that are meant to help. When Ryan comes into the world of Batwoman, she's going to see the people that maybe weren't seen before, because she was one of them. She gets put into this world where she's supposed to be very polished and perfect, but She's so far from it. But I also think that that's the beauty of her character in this show. It gives us a chance to play in a world that hasn't been played in yet. When I was a kid, what was my dream role? It's still my dream role, I wanna be a superhero. And then this role comes and I audition for it and I get a call from my manager. Hi, man, speak to Ryan Wilder, please. Seriously? Me? And I keep thinking I'm dreaming because this just can't be true. Then the trades come out. Javicia Leslie makes history as the first black fat woman. Then I knew it had nothing to do with me. This was something that was just so much bigger. And it made me realize that this is just an honor and a blessing. I don't know many people that can say they get to change the world doing what they love. I started acting because I was that kid that couldn't figure out what I wanted to do when I grew up. I wanted to act, I wanted to dance, be a doctor, a teacher, and all these different things. And it was kind of like, you don't have to pick. If you're an actor, you can play all of it. I did plays and theater and open mics and things like that. My mom kind of felt like, we don't know if this whole acting thing is going to work, which every artist has heard before from their parent. Let's just get a business degree just in case. I got my business degree, started working for the government. I just felt stifled. I couldn't release. I felt like I couldn't express myself. I'd see television, I'd see people doing their thing, and I'm like, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, that's where I'm supposed to be. So I packed up my stuff and I just moved to LA. You don't know what your big break is until your big break has happened. My first series was God Friended Me. That to me at the time was my big break. But then this happens and it kind of like shakes everything so much that I realized, no, this might be my big break. But who knows, I might be saying that my whole life. Every time something else happens, I'm like, this is the big break. I'll be 60 times about if this is the big break. I don't know. When I was a kid, I used to read history books and I'd read about Eartha Kitt and Josephine Baker and Nina Simone and I'd say, I want to be in history books. I want to leave a legacy on this earth that generations later kids will learn about what I've done. Just to know that this is the start of my career, there's so much more ahead. I look forward to what's next.